to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video I'm going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. First off, several of our staff members are still on vacation until the end of August, so news and production updates may be spotty until then, but we'll do the best that we can to keep everyone updated as much as possible. So we do want to thank you so much for being patient during this time of vacationing for our people. I'll be looking at producing more content right here on Mythic Games channel. The first of that was a live Q&A yesterday, during which I also showed how I store Steam Watchers and all its expansions in the core box. It was a very comfortable time, and I enjoyed it a lot. I'll be expanding my new content input to more playthroughs of Mythic Games titles, as well as some others that I just enjoy from other publishers. So be on the lookout for those, but without further ado, let's get to the rest of our news today. For Joan of Arc this week, this is a reminder that we are currently at the tail end of the production phase. This is generally a time when we have less to tell you about and more to show. But even then, we're reliant to some extent on what the factory sends us. Last week, we showed you factory for footage of your products being boxed up and shrink-wrapped for shipment. But I saw that it still produced some rather negative comments in various media outlets, which frankly left me a bit baffled. We're hesitant, as one might understand because of the current volatile state of the shipping industry, to share dates of any kind with our backers because they could change at the drop of a hat and we have zero control over it. When the factory or shipment companies gives us information that, as far as anyone can tell, is trustworthy and reliable, we will share that information with you. We want to share that information with you, but we also want to be as sure as we can that it is reliable beforehand. But please be patient and bear with us for just a little while longer. For Steam Watchers this week, just a quick note to say that the product has begun showing up on people's doorsteps, and we're super glad to see the pictures evidencing that showing up online. We were also told by our shipping liaison at the factory that the final container bound for North America left port as it was scheduled to on the 14th of August. So for our North American backers, it's on the way. Now, two recorded playthroughs are being posted today, one in English and one in French, on our YouTube channel, so be sure to check those out. I think I made a couple mistakes rules-wise in the playthrough I was part of, but they were minor and didn't affect the outcome of the game, so my apologies for that and I'll seek to improve on that in the future. Both are great examples of how the game plays, though, so there is that. Beginning tomorrow, August 25th, Steam Watchers will be available for pre-order through our eShop. These pre-orders will be sent out after fulfillment is complete to our Kickstarter backers, but now is the time to jump in if you miss the campaign and Pledge Manager. For Six Siege this week, in case you missed it somehow, the Pledge Manager is now open. So if you are a backer of the Kickstarter, now is when you can go on the Pledge Manager and pick the pledge you chose during the Kickstarter campaign, or you can upgrade if you wish, and then pick through all the add-ons that we have available to see which ones you may want to purchase. You'll also get your final tally for shipping costs after filling out your shipping information and get that squared away too. Additionally, if you missed the Kickstarter campaign, this is also your opportunity to late pledge. All the prices have remained the same as they were in the Kickstarter campaign, the caveat being the zero alternate miniature that was offered for free to fresh recruit pledges and above. It's still available, but for $12. If you have any questions concerning the Pledge Manager, though, feel free to reach out to either GameFound's Capable Customer Service or our own Capable Customer Support Team at support at mythicgames.net, and we'll do our best to get you squared away. Now, be sure to pay attention to our website and social media outlets on Thursday, August 26th. That's two days from now as we will be making a rather big announcement on what our next Kickstarter project will be. You won't be disappointed. But remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. Uh, so stop on by if you have any questions or if you just want to see what he might spoil. But even if he doesn't spoil anything... 
It's usually a pretty fun time. So until then, stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care.